Traders, in this video I'm going to be showing you my live trading session. We're looking at S&P 500 and mini futures. Time frame is 2000 tick chart. I'm going to be trading relying only on the pure price action. As you can see, the direction of the market right now is fairly sideways. Notice how EMA flattened. Now, this is a supportive indicator, only the 21 bar exponential moving average. But we have smaller trading range right now. I have the support, I have the resistance. Notice I'm also utilizing these channels because I want to follow the trend line rule. There's uptrend with the break, new high, downtrend with the break, new low, and now we have uptrend break and a new high is about to be formed. So right now I'm just waiting for price session to give me a clear bias. In the meantime, I'm following the price session rules. Price is created, visual, larger tool like a pullback. We can see first bullish lag, correction, second bullish lag. I was expecting to get a failed second entry long for prices to go back into a trend range according to rules. But you can see there was additional bullish push up to create new high for a slightly wider channel. And right now we have a new high even for this channel. Strong push below exponential moving average confirming the bearish momentum. And let's see if we can get a failed second entry long. Sure, so zoom in the video is we have new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. But we can see that the single bar is bullish doji. So I can't really go sell here. No great setup for me to take. All right, traders, we have news announcement. You can see very volatile price action. It's really zigzagging up and down, up and down for the reason I'm not entering any setups. You have to be careful to not get trapped taking setups around the news because it is very fast price action. You can get whipsawed easily in either direction. So we can see how big these bars are getting. And this is pretty much where you have to sit on your hands because we have very volatile price action. So we can see that the prices after confirming the support here are creating higher lows and higher highs. You can see I have first two swings here allowing me to draw wider channel. So we have nicely confirmed uptrend here, getting confirmation here, and this is looking like a weak bullish uptrend. Nevertheless, it is a bullish uptrend that is working to the upside. We can see that the prices are struggling to even form double top. We have right now some resistance up here. You can see the momentum is not that strong. We'll see if this uptrend will hold. But so far, when I'm looking at higher time frames as well, this is a decent wider uptrend that is fitting right now. All right, traders, so you can see the price action turn back into a trend range because after these highs fell to push higher and we form wider double top which is not even double top you can see prices right now are pushing back below ema it's getting too sideways right now i have this two-tier trend range with this acting as a midline so you can see why it is so important to identify the key levels this is the support this is the resistance you can see how prices are getting turned here but we can see we have uptrend in play so i cannot really sell EMA completely flat, a lot of price swings just swinging up and down, up and down. So right now I'm just waiting for prices to offer me a decent setup. I'm just following the shortening channels with the break new extremes and expect the prices to pivot at these lows. But there's no good setup either here or pretty much here. Just first entries here is too congested. Zoom in the video as I'm going to take second entry short from the top of the trading range. If we get a trigger below this bearish bar, I'm treating it as a double bar entry because this first bar was bullish. So I waited for this bearish bar to print. And if we get a trigger below this bar right here, it will be first entry short pullback, second attempt to sell at the top of the trend range, which is exactly what I want to see. Buy low, sell high, but we still need to get a trigger one tick below this bearish bar right here. All right, and we got the trigger. So I'm going to move my stop loss one tick above the single bar. I'm going to go for eight tick target profit. And you can see new low. First attempt to sell, pull back, second attempt to sell. Right at the top of a trend range, so I'm following the trend range rule, buy low, sell high, and we have clear first leg, break, and a clear separate leg. We don't have a new high just yet, but it is very close. This resistance has been showing me information that a lot of sellers are always selling once we confirm this resistance. So let's see if we can get nice visual second entry short off the highs of the trend range. You can sell into the EMA if you're in such a tight trend range like this. The EMA basically doesn't matter if the trend range is this tight. Generally, you don't want to sell directly into EMA, but once it's this tight, you have no other choice but to buy directly into EMA when you're buying low or selling. So right now what I did, I tightened the runner at break even because this is just a bonus. Anything we make is just a gravy. I'm going to put my runner at these lows because I expect for prices to go all the way down here. And we can see what can happen right now. The EMA is showing some reaction here, but we got our scalp and that's important for us. Second entry short at the top of the range. And I'm just waiting if we can get all the way down to the bottom. I'm not going to be too greedy. I'm going to take it at these lows, may go up. I'm just following the rules. There's really no great setup to buy here. So even our first earlier uptrend right now has a break, a new extreme. So the bullish imbalance, you can see each new low 
was higher should end at this point on very weak bullish uptrend i was basically playing this as a train range really focusing on selling high and buying low but you can see eventually this initial uptrend which didn't look like it's going to be in the play this is what can happen during slow markets it's just so slow the momentum is not there but eventually we managed to get new extremes so the bullish imbalance played out since we have a break in new extreme i'm expecting to get right now felt second entry long below the exponential moving average because i don't want to be extending the channels too much like this this is not a strong healthy trend day this is a very weak bullish uptrend for that reason i need to be satisfied with the clean break move to new extreme prices didn't form good bearish bar for us to sell a felt second entry long we just have two doji bars you can see there was not really that many setups but there was a nice high low here which was really nice because the downtrend played out with the break two legs to new low and prices came back and tested this key level again this was the resistance of the initial trading range that right now is acting as a support big bullish push above ema high low great signal bar great context but the stop loss was over six points so you would be risking a lot on this setup it was caused because it was right around the news other than that it was a great setup it even set up the possible trend line but more importantly it was still above this important kill other than that not that many great setups the market keeps creating more higher highs higher lows which means i need to extend the channel it's very unique because every single bullish push is so small and prices are basically barely working higher earlier break a new extreme just keeps pushing higher consistently and consistently. We have train range, the key is just pushing higher. This is a trending train range day. You basically have a push up, train range, push up, train range, push up, and another form of a train range. So I just came back from my break and we can see that the market reversed down. We can see that the trend line got confirmed with this swing right here. First two swings will stop the trend line. Third swing will confirm it. We had a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure which is already decent setup but it's a little bit stacked but notice prices pushed below EMA and offered us a lower high confirmation of this felt second entry long of two key entry points EMA and the trend line this was a great high probability setup downtrend had a break new extreme we have a second entry short but it's a doji bar above EMA and with new extreme we need to wait for a little bit more confirmation because right now there is a chance for bullish correction to be in play all right traders I'm gonna wrap it up with my one single trade other than that very slim pickings today there was a nice high low right here which was a great setup because notice the resistance of this train range now act as a support downtrend has a break new low multiple tests of this key level and the resistance is acting as a support big bull push above ema and high low confirmation setup the reason why i didn't take it because it was right around the news and the stop loss on this setup would have been a little over six points so this was a very big single bar we would have been risking a lot but context wise this is a great high low even the trend line got confirmed unfortunately for us there was no safe way for us to go long at these lows just a bunch of congestion at the bottom i took a second entry short off the range highs but you can see eventually move higher then we had nice decent second entry long right here which is very nice signal bar testing the key level again this is a trending trend range that you can see and possible wider trend line is getting confirmed here great signal bar second entry long and last setup that I unfortunately missed, I was on my break, was this lower high confirmation setup of the felt second entry long. You're pushing lower, you're getting the confirmation of the key entry point. Prices are below EMA and the first entry long, second entry long failure. Strong push below EMA and a breakout pullback of this congestion as well. Two key entry points. This is a great high probability setup, lower high, great signal bar, and it was a great easy trade. Today was what it's called trending train range day. We can see bullish spike straight into train range structure followed by another bullish push straight into long trend range structure and lastly bullish push into last trend range structure overall it is better to be focusing on longs with the main bias but once the trading range has been established you can pretty much trade it both ways because you can see prices will pivot at the top and at the bottom you can see trend range being established proven key entry point here proven key entry point here so you can pretty much trade it both ways ema completely flat a lot of price swings up and down and even here selling at the highs buying at the bottom is effective now you can see that you don't be fading the breakouts because prices are pushing into the next trend range phase so you only want to be selling while the resistance is being established now you can see that we had uptrend working high which was confirmed after this push after this push confirm the support and push above ema this is where you can see you're getting first two swings help you identify the trend line and you can get the trend line here but there's a chance for us to be drawing a wider pattern at first i was really not 
keen to be drawing wider pattern, I was basically expecting for prices to sell off from this point. Because of that, I missed the second entry long. It was quite surprising that prices pushed higher and this made me to draw wider channel. Now look at this first channel. This first channel is very healthy. You have ladder swings up and down, up and down, and you're filling up this channel. You're confirming the trend line and even the trend channel line. But if I'm gonna draw this wider pattern, notice how much empty room there is at the top here. You can see the trend is losing steam. It's gonna most likely tilt over, but it was quite confusing because you generally don't have so many pushes to new high. Notice you have break channel, push to new high, push to new high, push to new high, push to new high. So many consistent pushes to new high. So at this point on, it lured me to draw this wider channel, which you can see eventually became invalid. The reason why we don't wanna be drawing the wider channel is because today is very weak uptrend. This is not healthy 45 degree angle uptrend. This is very weak uptrend. How do we recognize that the uptrend is weak and strong? If it looks like a trading range day with slight bullish bias, that tells you that the structure is very weak bullish uptrend. It just barely keeps pushing higher, but at the same time, you can basically trade it both ways. So you can see this was just last bullish momentum before market eventually sold off. And you can see, just like here, you get first two swings, help you identify the trend line. Here you get once again, first two swings help you identify the downtrend. Great confirmation setup of the felt second entry long. Even the felt second entry long could have been risked, but it is a little bit too congested. Great breakout pullback. Two key entry points are holding the best setup of the day. Then you have a break new high and the bias is still bearish because you traded down into the smaller train range. There was a tempting felt breakout, but the bar was so big. You would have eventually survived because the stop loss goes one tick above the single bar. But there is no point risking such a gigantic bar. But eventually we have a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. Still part of the fell breakout, great bearish bar. You're with the direction of the trend, uptrend played out. You're not looking for reversal and market continue working into the close. Today was rollover date, a little bit slower. And I hope you had a decent chain day. I'm going to talk to you next time.